Hi everybody! This is a video lesson about the STL Gallery and Media Library, which is the central digital storage and exhibition spaces for the images and other media collections. There are many services that collect photographs, films, music materials or the scientific work of a scientist. Some of these are community-based, such as Fortepan, or run by a library or scientific community, such as our library service. You can access this platform from the library's main page by clicking on the search and find content or repositories under the link STL Gallery and Media Library. The website can be accessed at this URL too. Here we present documents in digital format which are mostly in the library's possessions in their original format and are different in type from traditional printed or manuscript materials. The homepage always displays the most recent materials and if you click on the collections menu, you can see different collections that have been created from the media items. Here you can see, for example, collections of photographs of researchers and lecturers of the university, often donated to the library either by the researcher or by the heir. For example, Kalman Schwoy, Katalin Karikó, Antal Hermann, Kuno Klebersberg, Albert Szentgyörgyi. But you can also browse through the various documents relating to the university's history, or the signatures, ex libris, and seals of books in the library's collection. Another interesting feature is that you can find not only photos and important documents, but also video materials about the University of Szeged. And, as the latest addition to the service, it is now possible to search for audio materials not only the metadata level, but also the full text. If you click on any collection, you can see the items that belong to it. And after selecting one, you can view the image and its associated items, additional images, back cover, etc. Under the photo, you can see the associated metadata title, creator, contributor, extent, rights, citation format. And if the image can be linked to a location, you can also view it on a map. You can search in the database using the search box at the top of the right corner or click on the advanced search options. A simple search if you enter, for example, Gyula Kristó, you will get the following results. This can be sorted by various metadata, such as date created, contributors or subject. And you can choose to only showing results with images options. If you want to search on more than one criteria, you can use the advanced search where you can enter multiple search terms and set in which search field the word you enter should search. If you click on the map menu, you can do a visual search where you can select the items from the list that have an exact location or browse the map by zooming in and clicking on the pins to see exactly where the images were taken. Note that the map cannot accommodate too many items at once, so you have to switch between several different maps.
Under the Exhibits menu, you can view virtual exhibitions created by the library, which contains a variety of useful and other interesting information in addition to the images in the collection. Besides to the biographies of Catalin Carico, there is an exhibition, for example, about Dante and about 100 years of the philosophy department or another biographies of Albert Szent Györgyi, but only in Hungarian language. Under the Browse item menu, in addition to the options already mentioned, you can see a full list of tags and creation dates, which you can also browse. If someone wishes to contribute to the construction, extension, clarification or improvement of the database, they can do so after registering. You can register in the top right corner and after that, you can add new information to the database in the form of comments on images, videos and audio materials. Thank you for your attention and enjoy your browsing.